In this video, we're going to be looking at the mid-string manipulation function in VB.NET 2019. It's also available in earlier versions, so if you have an earlier version, that's okay. We're going to be uh, using a console application uh, to do this, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. We're going to do word as a string because we're going to have the user input a word, and then what we're going to do is we're going to isolate each letter of that word, rebuild the string, but build it backwards so it actually reverses uh, the word. So we're going to do letter as a character. Now you might be saying, well, do I need it? You know, do I need an array here with a certain index slot so I can hold each letter? You don't really need to hold on to each letter. Once we get the letter and we've built the string backwards uh, each time, we can overwrite that variable. So we don't even need a one dimensional array to hold each letter. We're only going to use that letter temporarily before we overwrite it. So let's go ahead and ask the user to enter a word and the theme of me not being able to spell uh, correctly continues and what we're going to do is we're going to store that as a word all right now once we have the word we can start isolating each letter now in the previous video uh, we just went into uh, mid uh, this video we have to use a for loop because we need to start at the uh, last letter and go to the first letter so for i equals, now you may be saying, well, in for loops, we always start with a smaller number going to a larger number. And generally that is true. But what you can also do is work backwards. I can actually go down. So I'm gonna do word.length two, one, and then I'm gonna put next, and I can actually step down. Now, what you, you there's one extra thing you're gonna have to type in because when you're using a for loop, it increments automatically. So I is gonna step by one automatically. Well, we need it to step down by one automatically. And how do we step down? Step negative one, that's it. The step is a keyword and it says, okay, we're going to change how many steps we're taking. We're changing it from positive one to negative one. Now I can start at the end of the word and work backwards. And then what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and put console.write line and then what we're going to do is we're going to output the new word. So I'm going to go back up here. Actually, let's call it uh, backwards word. And we need to make that a variable. So let's go ahead and do that uh, now. There we go. So now I can actually store and build that string. So the first thing I need to do is isolate the letter. So we're gonna do letter, and then we're gonna use mid. Now remember, mid requires three things. First, the string you're working with, which is word. The starting point, and the starting point is going to be I, because I is gonna increment automatically, starting at the last letter, going down, and how many characters do we wanna take where we're at? We want to take one. Now, what we need to do here is we need to build the backward, backwards word. And that is going to be like this. We're going to take the backwards word, and then we're going to tack on the letter. And when we tack on the letter, what this will do is concatenate the strings together. I'm taking whatever I have, and then I'm adding letter onto it. So let's go ahead. Very, very short program here. Uh, this will actually take a word and uh, output it backwards, and we forgot to do this as a string. Uh, the data type is pretty important. So let's go ahead, let's save our program, let's run it, and let's see how this works. So let's enter words such as uh, curtains. So if I enter curtains, it comes out backwards. C-U-R-T-A-I-N-S, that is backwards, that is how you spell curtains. It comes out as truck, which, uh, you know, isn't a real word, but that it's as simple as that. What we're doing is we're starting at the end of the word. We're going all the way to the first word and we're stepping down negative one. We're storing each letter from word using our mid function. We're starting at I. I is going to be the very last letter, the second time it runs, the second to last letter, the third time it runs, the third to last letter, and so on, all the way to the first character. And all we're doing is at each of those spots, we're taking one character. And when we take one character, we're storing that in letter. And then what we're doing is we're taking our backwards word string 
the variable and we're just building onto it. I cannot just put letter here. If I put letter here without this backwards word, what's gonna happen is it's only gonna output that very last letter. What this does is it takes the string, which the first time it runs, there's nothing there. So there's nothing there. And we're adding on the S in curtains. The second time it runs, we have an S, but we're adding on the N. The third time it runs, we're at, we, ha we already have the S and the N. So now we need to put the I. So that's what line 12 is doing. It's as simple as that. If you have any questions, please post a comment below. We'll see you guys in the next video.